So pretty big news in the world of comics today, and I figure we talk about it while I'm try- still trying to rehab my voice from the terrible respiratory infection that I've been dealing with for the last few weeks. Uh, so apologies, it still doesn't sound right, but I thought we should talk about Greg Capolo returning to Marvel Comics after 30 years. So the Spawn Batman artist will be taking his talents to the House of Ideas. Uh, superstar artist Greg Capullo has confirmed his impending return to Marvel Comics uh, as a first, as first as a cover artist with plans to do a project, quote unquote, at the publisher. This coming to us from Newsarama. Um, yeah, this is really big. Uh, he apparently announced it on the Miller World podcast that he is stated to, or he, he was in talks with Marvel and now he is back. Now, uh, Greg Capullo actually got a, pretty much a start in mainstream comics at Marvel, at least. He used to draw, it says here, it mentions in the article uh, Quasar, and I remember he was drawing Quasar, but I always knew him as from X-Force. That was the first title I saw him on. And, uh, and he was a stellar artist even back in the day. And then he got poached from Marvel by Todd McFarlane and tapped to draw the Spawn comic. He actually succeeded McFarlane as the second artist on the title and ended up hanging out on Spawn for like 80 plus issues all the way to uh, issue number 100. And it's a pretty legendary run uh Greg Capullo's Spawn run. If you ever get a chance to go back and find those back issues, they're really great. You really get to see him transform his style from kind of a Marvel House art style to kind of more what he's known for today, which is really kind of gritty, uh, very detailed, very rendered, uh, cool, dark comic style that he's got going on for himself. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see him come back to Marvel. I'm, I'm curious what his quote-unquote project would be uh, like I said when he was at Marvel he kind of hung around the X books a lot that's where I always knew him from and uh, I wouldn't mind seeing him you know maybe do like a Wolverine title something like that would be a lot of fun but so it looks like uh, the Spawn Batman which just uh, hit stores this week marks the, his last work with uh, DC Comics and his time with DC Comics was pretty much primarily Batman I mean, he did the death metal story and the DC metal, which they were big line white crossovers, but they were kind of essentially Batman stories in and of themselves. So really his years at DC, which has been quite a while now, he's been at DC since the new 52 stuff and uh, pretty much centered on on Batman that entire his entire run. I don't I don't know that he branched off and really did much of anything else after his Batman run ended. Like I said, he did metal, he did death metal. He did a, uh, black label Batman book with, uh, with Snyder. I remember, uh, and, and he's done this crossover book, obviously Batman spawn, which, which I haven't got to pick up yet, but I'm sure is, is just amazing. So, uh, yeah, man, this is big news. This is a, a definitely an industry, Industry shaking move, Capolo back over to Marvel from DC Comics. That is what he is one of the top tier, I'd say top, easily top five artists currently in comics. So anytime he's drawing anything is a treat to have him back at Marvel. I mean, Marvel needs the help. Let's face it. DC looks like they may actually be pulling themselves out of the gutter and putting together, putting together a run of books that maybe fans are going to care about again. Marvel, I think, is is. About, they're about as low as DC was, so they could use some help. A, a good creative talent like him can hopefully help them out. And if, if they are going to put them on the X-Men books, hopefully by the time that manifests itself, they have done away with this rancid Krakoan era, and we can get back to uh, telling some decent, rational superhero stories again. So, uh, yeah, kind of quick video. What, what do you guys think? Uh, Greg Capital to Marvel, are you excited? you want to see what he's going to put out? Um, what title would you like to see? Uh, Capullo takeover. That, that'll be the question for the comments today. I want to know what title you think his style would be best for. Go ahead and put that in the comments below. While you're down there, do all the usual stuff. Hit like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would love to ha- have you here and hit that bell notification so that you uh, catch my videos when I post them. And uh, real quick, check out my website, midnightcomics.net. Um, I sell uh, my own comics there, open commissions, all kinds of stuff. I'd love for you to uh, at least check out the website. If you feel if you feel inclined, uh, maybe you grab a book or two. I, pu- I do write comics. I'm about to put out my ninth comic probably next month. So um, that'll be the ninth book of the series. I got a graphic novel. It's about 160 pages. And yeah, if you want to kind of see what uh, what I try to contribute to the comic book space, there it is. But uh, yeah, back to the news, just Capolo returning. And that's all I got. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I'm going to leave it there. See you then.